Hey listeners, it's me, Ben, from 100 Nman. In this episode, I want to talk about how you should invest in yourself. Now, I was reading an article the other day, and it blew my mind. Just one paragraph blew my mind. And it really inspired and spurred some thinking on my behalf and how I should and will be making some alterations within my own life. And I talk about wealth meaning many different things in depending on your circumstance. Wealth could mean having a roof over your head or wealth could mean the difference between 10 and 50 million. Wealth for me is about the unfinancial, about the unmaterialistic. Wealth for me is about creating longevity, happiness and internal abundance rather than materialistic abundance. Although I'm not saying that it's uncomfortable to have the materialistic wealth and it's something that I wouldn't want within my life. I'm saying that true abundance, true happiness, true success is internal. For me, true success, true wealth is the freedom to do as you please when you wish. That's true freedom. That's true wealth. And this article I was reading, it was talking about how some invest more in their car on a monthly basis, their car repayments, their car finance, than they do on investing in their health for that month, investing in any type of therapy or investing in their future. And it got me thinking, about how bizarre society has become when we find it more important to invest several hundred pounds in the vehicle we drive as opposed to the body we're in. Now for me, I'm fortunate enough not to have to make that choice. But the article was talking about people that do have the choice, that are suffering from that are suffering from medical ailments, that are suffering from obesity, unhappiness, stress tension, anxiety disorders, but for their journey to and from work and for their social commutes, were driving the latest in motoring engineering. For me, I found that slightly bizarre. Now, we could blame society and the vast amounts of media pressures to keep up with the Joneses, but there is a huge difference between value and value. And I've covered this in one of my videos about the value of something is not the price. The value of something of what benefits it brings to your life. Not on an emotional level, but on a real level. Because emotions change. The word itself is emotion, movement. We live in a society plagued with illness, plagued with complaints, plagued with the belief that everything's going to be okay. And I hope that there's a reality check coming soon. Because if you were to fast forward to the end of days for many of these people out there that have made that choice to invest in in depreciable assets and not investing in themselves. I think there's going to be some alterations and some shifts in their belief structure, in their values. If you were to ask a person who who has made that choice not to invest in their health, happiness, pain-free and healthy, abundant life, and you were to ask them what value they would place on living or giving one more day, one more existence in a pain-free state, it almost guaranteed that they would relinquish or see a different and place a different value on the materialistic things in their life. So it was just food for thought today, something that got me thinking about the difference between value and value, about how our choices today perhaps aren't supporting a a longer, happier and healthier life. How perhaps it's time for society to start thinking legacies. What difference can I make to my life in 10, 20 years beyond my living days? And working backwards from that. How do I want to be remembered not in the next generation, but the generation beyond that? If I was to fast forward to my last breath, what advice would I give to the me of today? And I think that's food for thought for anybody. Where and how am I being the most productive today? And it's not just about how that applies to our fitness, about our sport, about our nutrition. I think it's something that can be added and can contribute some really good, positive and inspirational thoughts across all sectors of our life. So the choice, I guess, is ours to make. For me, I'm going to be making some alterations about 
how I invest in my health, about how I invest in my own nutrition and changing perhaps some of the values that I have. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all your kind words. Don't forget to subscribe. For now, peace out.